Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing a little makeover here on our entryway corner here, so keep watching to the end of the video to see how it turns out. So we have got a problem here in this corner. It is our entry corner where we come in to the house and everything gets plopped down here um, either to take down to the basement or uh, whatever it just all lands here and um, yeah it's getting pretty bad and it just needs to have another system here so we are going to be working on that today um, first of all we are just going to be cleaning everything up and just getting rid of everything in this corner before we go ahead and get started And I just wanted to go ahead and after I swept the floor here in the corner, I wanted to go ahead and just wipe down the baseboards. They were very dusty and they just needed a good wipe down. So now we are out here in the shop and I am just going to start cutting these boards. What we're making is like a floating entryway table, I guess you could say. Um, and I'll put the measurements of the size that I'm making here on the screen so you can see what um, my size was. You can definitely do whatever size works for you. Um, and so I'm just marking off my sizes. And I'm going to be ripping down this one by six to make it to the correct um, width for the shelf. And these boards that I'm using today are literally just extra leftovers that were laying out in the shop just waiting to be used um, so I really didn't spend much money at all on this little project I just used what I had and tried to just make do and use my imagination So now we are going to go ahead and just staple these boards together and first of all we're going to put on the face of the shelf and this one will overlap um, on the one side. Uh, the other side will be against the wall so you won't be able to see um, that there's no side on that side. But on this side we're going to put this um, board on and as you can tell the front face um, overlapped in order to cover this sideboard. I don't know if that makes sense or not, um, but as you're making it, this will make total sense. And I'm just gonna staple everything together. And now we have brought it inside and I'm gonna go ahead and just use some wood filler to fill in all those little holes that we made and as well as all the little wood splices that um, we, as we were nailing it together, there's all these little grooves and crevices and we wanna fill those all up and make it seamless. This just gives it the look of one big giant um, shelf piece. Um, and which is the look that we're going for. So we're just going to fill in all those cracks and crevices and then we're going to let this dry. I like this wood filler because it goes on pink and then it dries into a tan color so you know when it's dry. And then after all that wood filler was dried and it was ready to sand, I took it down into the garage and we're going to go over it with the sander really well, get everything smoothed down and get all those creases and those joints sealed and smoothed out 
um, into one cohesive looking piece. And this did take a little while as you can see there on the back side of my um, board that I have it was kind of rough so I did have to go over it a couple times with a sander to get it smoothed and then after we had it all sanded down and smooth I went over it just with a damp cloth just to get it um, get all the dust off of it before we started painting and I am just painting it with a plain white satin paint And I did go over it with another coat of paint after this coat had dried um, just to get it a good coverage. And the piece over here that you see, um, I had cut this one just a little bit shorter than the shelf itself. And this will be our bracket that we're going to use to hang it up on the wall where the shelf will connect to. Now over the top I'm going to take this Valspar um, antiquing glaze and just go over it just to give it um, kind of that wood grain look is kind of what I'm going for and I'm just using a damp cloth to do this and this is basically you can't go wrong with this um, it's really easy to do and most thing you just want to go over it with long strokes across the whole piece this will give it a nice um, finished wood look all right and now we are up here where this shelf will go I'm just taking the bracket piece that we had painted um, I'm just leveling it up with my phone here and Jameson wanted to help me so bad with putting these screws into the wall so um, I let him give it a shot and he did pretty good I had to finish the screws for him but um, he wanted to help so bad so I let him help me with this and now we are putting the shelf up and what I'm doing here is I'm just pre jailing some holes here along the back side down into that bracket that we made and then I'm gonna go back with the screw gun putting in the screws and the shelf is in now again we're going to patch some of these holes back here that we just made um, putting in the screws um, we're going to patch those up really quick with the wood filler and then wait for it to dry And of course we're going to need to sand down um, these areas before we paint it. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just going to go over with the white paint that we originally painted just over the screw holes mostly. And then next we're going to go over, once the paint dried of course, we're going to go over with just a tad of the glaze just to um, blend it in and make it look like the screw holes never happened. Alright, and here is the finished shelf. And now we are ready to start decorating. I'm so happy with how this turned out. And I did end up putting three hooks here on the bottom just to hang stuff as well. Um, I will try to link these in the description box below. I like them because they're really nice and wide to hang up um, a lot of stuff. So first of all, we are going to be putting up these um, little signs that I made. Um, I just painted it in a variety of colors on the back and then I use my Cricut to cut out the stencils for the words. So I wanted to hang it up just a little bit above the shelf. So we're going to go ahead and put in a couple nails. First of all, I wanted to find the center of the shelf and make sure um, that the little plaques were in the center as best that we can. And I thought this saying would be so cute for um, coming home saying. So we're going to go ahead and hang up the one and then kind of figure out where we want the other one and kind of mark it with a nail. And then I'm going to measure up how far the other nail is and then do the same on the other one. That way they hang straight. And this is another um, DIY that I did. This was a thrift store find that I got for like 25 cents and it was a purplish color and so I painted it and then again made a little stencil from my Cricut for the little keys. And these were just some greeneries and some flowers that I had on hand. And so I'm going to put them in here and this will be okay for now. And then I have this little basket that I'm just going to put here on the bottom um, and put a blanket in and just make it a little bit more cozy. And then I'm going to finish it off with one of my pillows that I have in my Etsy shop and we are done. And also if you have returned items, I thought you could hang um, these under here so that you can just grab them when you're ready to go out the door. They're right there and you don't miss them. I am so happy with how this turned out, um, my little floating entryway table. And I hope you enjoyed watching. So that is going to be it for today. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.